Hello. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. And I just wanted to share something that the Lord has really uh, just opened my eyes to just in this past week. I'm really excited because one of the things is that a lot of times we don't actually think who we are in Christ. And I find a lot of people are very discouraged today and they're finding they're struggling with so much that they have a hard time really rising above that. But what I'm, uh, what has come to me is about who we are in Christ. We are sons and daughters of Christ. And we really need to begin to really um, focus on that to realize that we are because Jesus is the King. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And because he's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we are princesses. Yes, we are princesses. And the men are princes. This is very encouraging. I have really meditated on this. And when I, when I read this, like it just hit me like a ton of bricks. The revelation just went so deep within my heart and my spirit. I was thinking you know how sometimes if we go through things in life we just feel so lost sometimes and we just feel like we we don't really know who we are you know like if if you've lost a loved one if you've lost your job or needed to move someplace else because of uh, the economic downturn and sh you're struggling financially I really encourage you to just really get alone by yourself and really meditate on the Word of God because Oh my goodness, it is, it really, really changes your mindset. If you just really, met, you know, like meditate, meditate on the word of God to see what he says and, and just say it over and over and over again. And you will really begin to think and look at yourself in a totally different view. You won't be like what the neighbor says about you or a brother or sister, you know, you'll really see your, your identity in Christ in such a different way you'll feel better about yourself you'll carry yourself in a different way and I just wanted to share some scriptures with you today in uh, 1 Peter 2 9 reads we are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation and in Psalm 45 verse 9 the daughters of kings are among your honored women the queen stands at your right hand, adorned with the gold offer. And uh, once we begin to think of ourselves in a different way, we will be able to have more trust in uh, what God has called us to do. We will we'll begin to uh, see ourselves and other people in a whole different light. In Proverbs 23, verse 7, the A part of it says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And of course, that is from the King James Version, as the other ones are as well. But that's the thing. When we begin to think, you know, if we have stinking thinking in our minds. It's like, okay, well, I'm just this poor little so-and-so, uh, you know, the child of mother so-and-so, you know, we weren't really, uh, we didn't have a lot of money growing up. We didn't, you know, there was, we never had any recognition. There was, there was nothing that really set us apart from um, other people or, you know, but it, it really keep, kind of hinders our walk with God. And in uh, St. John 14, 2, uh, reads, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Mansions. Think about that. There's mansions in heaven for you. And you will have everything in your mansion as a son or a daughter that has given their life to Jesus and has asked Jesus in to be Lord and Savior of their lives. You have already got a mansion in heaven. The Lord is placing things in those mansions as you walk through the things that he's called you to in life. He will, uh, you know, he knows all the di desires of our hearts. And I will have to share with you, uh, one night I had this dream that I was playing a piano just beautifully. You know, like, uh, and it was, 
it was like in this mansion that I was in and I knew it was in heaven because I've seen so many beautiful things that you would never see on earth and the peace and the joy of everyone with the celebrations and stuff that they were having was, was nothing that you would ever see on earth and I could just play and I, it was something that I just automatically knew because as a child I had had this uh, desire to really play piano and there were just there didn't seem to be a piano around we didn't really know anyone that I could practice you know their piano or anything like that but just had such a deep desire to play piano and I thought oh wow and I was uh, telling my daughter about this uh, one day was saying you know at some time somewhere I'm going to be able to play that piano like nobody's business <laughs> so uh, I would just you know really encourage you just just continually just really meditate on that each and every day just who you are in Christ you know he has every every need that you have ever met will be met there and as we think on the things, as we realize just how rich we are, we are sons and daughters. We are prince and princesses. You know, and um, here, you know, when it says that, you know, as a man thinketh, so is he. If we think over and over again that we are kings and prince and princesses and we are rich, we will begin to draw draw things from the heavenly realm into our lives and i will have to share another scripture or not even so much a scripture with you right now it's about um a thing that i had done in my life in the past i was in um i think in my early 40s and i had had this issue of blood just like the the you know the woman in in the bible that came to jesus and she needed the Lord Jesus to heal her from the issue of blood that she had in her body for 12 years. Well, I had had that uh, for six and a half years, but there was a time when uh, I had had this dream because I was praying to God all the time. I said, God, I know you can heal me. I believe that you will heal, heal me. And I really began to meditate on the healing scriptures in the Bible because everything that you will ever need is in the Bible. Meditate on the healing scriptures. Meditate on the scriptures if you need something like financial need. What does the word of God, what does the word of God say about your situation? Get in, you know, like the Bible. Your Bible is something that you will get your answers from, your holy Bible. And going back to the situation that I was uh, struggling with in my body, I had had this dream that I was healed and I was telling my mother and my uh, husband at the time, I said, look, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm better, I'm better. And so after th this, I, ha I had shared this with my um, husband and I said, I don't know, Doug. I said, I really believe that I'm going to be healed at some point. And so I had gone to a church service because we don't know exactly the situation, where we're going to be or how this is going to happen. I was at church one day and there was a healing uh a minister that had come from the states and I shouldn't say healing minister he was uh, very anointed and so he said at the front of the church he said is there anyone here that needs healing and will believe the Lord for healing so I was more than <laughs> ready to go up to have uh, someone pray over me because I wanted my healing and he said to me, he said, do you believe that Jesus Christ heals today and that he will heal you? And because I was expecting, I said, not only do I believe it, and I had my hand raised high. I said, not only do I believe it, I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith that I am healed. I felt the power of God on my body, such a strong, powerful feeling that just filled me full of just such peace and it went from the top of my head right down to the tip of my toes I kid you not this is something that really happened I kind of slid to the floor and my body began to shake because sometimes when we feel the presence of the Lord our our human body you know we, we never know how we're going to really respond when this this happens for us and so I was totally and completely healed and I went back to my doctor and he confirmed it, that I was um, healed and whole. And he said, but Marilyn, you need to kind of go to the specialist, you know, uh, because uh, he said, I can, you know, I can see that you're, you're very adamant about what has happened. 
and I had told him that I was at the altar and, and that I was prayed over and I felt the power of God. So I did end up going to the specialist and had more tests and stuff. And he said, I, I can't, you know, I, I've never seen this ever before. Yes. And so, he, you know, he said, good for you. You know, uh, I hope you, you know, everything continues to go well for you. So it was just so amazing because I went back to work again after six and a half years of not being able to work. I went back to work. I was totally and completely healed. And I never, ever had another problem like that again. So well, I would just really encourage you to really just get into those scriptures and just saying, you know, I'm healed, I'm whole. God's word says that I'm healed and, and whole. Even though maybe my body is not manifesting that right now, I believe what God says. I believe what God says in his word, you know, and just continue, continue to believe that because in Romans 11, 17 says, so then faith cometh, by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so that's what I'm saying. It's like really begin to see yourselves as son, not only sons and daughters of God, but prince and princesses. He has given us this. He says this to us in his word. You know, he has always been faithful. You know, no matter what you're, you're say, or maybe your family says, or a friend, well, I asked God for this, and I asked God for that, and I didn't receive. He does know. He does know what you have need of. You know, and sometimes it, has, it does take a while to receive from God. But I really do believe that one of the biggest things is if we have the faith, you know, it's like the faith of a little child. They don't question they don't really question where things are coming from or, you know, if it's God or, or whatever. It's like a lot of times their parents will just say something and they just have total faith in that. They'll go playing on their way or whatever, but, you know, they will just, uh, you know, they, they don't worry. You know, worrying is, you know, you can't worry and have faith at the same time. You know, and I always, always say in different times because I've done this myself and, you know, I, I'll write down something that I'm concerned about. And I'll put it aside for a while, you know, because I'm really, I'm, when I'm doing that, I'm giving that to God. And I'll just walk away. I won't think about it anymore. And little by little, my answer will come. And then I'll go back, you know, like in my journal, I'll go back and journal that out. It's like, okay, this was X amount of time, but God was faithful. And, you know, we, we never know exactly what that's supposed to look like, that answered prayer. So whenever you do get your answer to prayer, thank God, just thank God for his answer because when we are trusting him, when we are believing that he will answer those prayers, you will begin to see a lot more in your life. You'll begin to see a lot more prayers answered in your family's lives and you can't help to glorify God and really testify of these things because you feel so blessed and loved you know like if you're not feeling loved today i really really encourage you to get into the scriptures see what god says about love that the love that he has for you and so i just you know invite you if you don't know christ just say lord jesus just come into my heart i don't know anything about you just come into my heart i believe you i believe what the god the but the bible says that uh you know, because in John 3, 16, the Bible says that for whomsoever uh, believeth in the Lord Jesus Christ, though he was lost, he will be saved. And so I, I just encourage you to ask Jesus Christ into your life. He will come in because he knows everything about it, you know, everything about your life. And you may not be able to pray the, the, the prayers and stuff there. They'll come. Gradually things will come. We are as little children before we come to faith in Christ. You know, and he just, he doesn't expect us to know everything all at once, but gradually he opens the doors for us so that we can see and understand more about him. And so I just would like to pray at this time. And so Lord Jesus Christ, we just give you thanks and praise for the time that you've given to us today, for the things that you've provided in our lives. We thank you for your love for our lives, Lord Jesus, because you sent, Father God, you sent your son, Lord Jesus Christ, 
to take the sin on the cross for us so that we, believing and receiving in him, could be with you in those mansions in heaven one day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I hope you're blessed today. Just God love you because God loves you.